in this video we will try to see how to configure the uh, clock with the help of uh, processor expert so this is the code generated by the processor expert and this is the file which is generated by the processor expert and we can see that um, here different uh, registers are configured first we will see in what is the procedure to um, initialize the clock so we go to this file and see that uh, how what is the procedure so first of all here it is written initialize system clock oscillator for 8 megahertz crystal so and then this is the this part here we have to configure first this part here and this part here so let us see what is what are the steps so first of all we see that it says initialize desired s to sc dividers so we see how these are configured so here you see that here are these dividers configured SOSC divider this is the divider 1 and the divider 2 so you can see divider 1 and divider 2 so both are configured as 1 this one and this one so here you can see and when we see in the files uh, where they are present and you can see here that this is the divider register and this is the divider 1 and this is the divider 2 and divider 1 is configured as 1 so divide by 1 divider 2 is configured as this one and then divider 1 is configured also as 1 so these two are configured as one so this means that whatever we catch here will be present here so now see the next step next step is configure range high gain and reference so range high gain and reference so these are these three register range this is high gain low gain register and then is a bit and this is the reference oscillator selection bit so we can see this diagram here we can see that we can select this external crystal or we can select just an external clock so when we select this zero here zero here then we get the external clock uh, and when we select one then we will use external crystal so this external crystal is can be in any range but if we have 8 megahertz crystal then we will get 8 megahertz here so this is this we can see also how to configure this one so this here we have seen these three this one is the this is configured as one so we can see the register also here you can see that this is configured as one this bit configured as one in this register so we are selecting this crystal oscillator this internal is little, is little bit confusing but this is external reference clause select bit so external uh, crystal oscillator will be selected with this one so we have this one and the next bit so we have selected this path this as one so we will get this crystal oscillator output here now we can see the next one this one gain and range so the gain is actually set to zero so low gain operation in this file you can see it is set to zero so low gain operation is selected and now the next bit is this range bit the range can be selected as 
this one low range medium range and high range and the high range is above 8 megahertz and this is from 4, meg 4 megahertz to 8 megahertz you can see this file here here it is written that you can from 4 megahertz to 8 megahertz you can stack 2 and for crystal oscillator above 8 megahertz to 40 megahertz you can select 3 so there is one uh, another point if the PLL is used and the oscillator needs to be in high range only so this means that when we are using PLL we can select this range as 3 so in this case we have selected 2 so you can select 2 2 is at the corner if you can see here so 8 megahertz is also present here and 8 megahertz is also present here so you can use either 2 or 3 and you can try 2 also with PLL so now the next step you see here we have all uh, the range we have configured the range high gain and the reference so this is the reference that we have external crystal oscillator we have low gain and then we have the range for the crystal oscillator selected this is the mid range so now when we go to the next step so next step is ensure SFC control state register is unlocked so we have to see this register so this register when we see here this one is so these this is the SOSCCSR so this bit and this bit this is the lock bit so lock bit is here we have selected as zero false so when we see here when we go to the other file this one so we can see this lock bit so lock bit is zero when the when we want to unlock this register so we have to unlock this register in order to write to this system oscillator enable pin so this enabling and disabling uh, of the system oscillator is done with this bit so when we unlock this one we can write one here and then we can start uh, then we get this uh, system oscillator clock so this is what here is written that we have to unlock this one additionally we also do this monitor disable here so this is you can see this is this bit here system oscillator clock monitor this is disabled with this zero so now we have done this one and when we see and then the next step is once we have unlocked this one then enable SOSC in SOSC control and state register now we have to enable we have to enable the this uh, section so this is the same as this bit and this is the same as this true so when this is true then it will be enabled so before uh, this pin is enabled we have to check the system has to check the flags so you can see here when you see the code here here you see that the, this bit is checked that it if it is locked or not when it is unlocked then we proceed to enable the oscillator so this while loop is actually checking the bit unlocked bit which we have seen here so before proceeding to, to enable the oscillator we have to unlock we have to check that it this register is unlocked or not so once we set this bit then we have to wait here and check this bit 
to check this bit you, we have to see this bit so this is the bit system oscillator is enabled and output clock is valid so we wait in this while loop as long as this system clock is valid so this is not shown here this is done by the driver itself so this is these are the steps which are described here and these are described also here so this is the wait for the SOSC to be valid this is the last step which is done here but here we cannot see because the driver will do it itself this is just the configuration for this part this complete part so now we have enabled this clock 8 megahertz clock will be present here here and here and it will be supplied to this PLL block so now after this step we have to do this these steps so initialize system PLL to 160 megahertz using 8 megahertz SOS so this this will be done with these configuration bits this we will see so here we can also see the system oscillator configuration uh, done with the processor expert you can see you can with the help of this one and component expect, uh, inspector we can see that the clock monitoring monitor is uh, disabled you can see it here and then it is lock register is unlocked so this is present here and then we are configuring it system clock with 8 megahertz so this is present here and then we have selected the external crystal oscillator so this is present here so this is a low power mode so we can see it here and then we can see that we have selected the medium range so the medium range is selected here so these are the uh, so so these are the settings which we can do with this uh, processor expert and then when you click this one the code will be generated for uh, this part so this is uh, uh, how we can do how we can use the uh, processor expert to make this code or we can directly make changes here once uh, because this code is uh, uh, present when when we start uh, when we make a new project and uh, click this button then this uh, um, code is present then we can also do manual changes here and then uh, configure uh, it without this uh, processor expert